Welcome to Impacting Jamaica, where we shine the spotlight on the many but often ignored positive happenings, activities, projects and investments at every level across every sector to inspire, motivate and excite people everywhere. We know that as uh, demographic shifts occur, as uh, societies move from uh, rural populations to uh, urban populations, uh, the promoters of cardiovascular disease begin to rise. Uh, we know that in Jamaica, for example, six out of 10 women are obese or overweight. Four out of 10 men are obese or overweight. We know that about 30% of the adult population in Jamaica has hypertension. We know that diabetes is more prevalent in developing countries. It will go from 84 million to about 300 million, accounting for about 70% of the global burden of diabetes. In Jamaica, we have a prevalence of about 11.9% and about 17.9% point prevalence for adult uh, population when it comes to diabetes. So these are all promoters of cardiovascular disease. Therefore, we know this great burden of disease, but because it requires a lot of technical and human capital to get these technologies in Jamaica and other low resource economies, it was widely assumed that it was not possible. What we have done was leverage technology and use smart applications to improve access to quality of care. We built Heart Institute of the Caribbean based on technological advances that bridged the gap that made such services possible in the developing countries of the world. And we've also been able to do it in a way that is routinely accessible and affordable. Can you give us an idea of what are some of the services offered at the Institute so cardiovascular patients, um, like any other patient, they require basic care, um, which will come from seeing your doctor, getting a history, getting physical examination, doing some lab investigations. Those have always been available locally. Um, even uh, basic cardiovascular services like electrocardiograms have been always been available. But what has not been routinely available have been the uh, more advanced diagnostic uh, technologies and techniques. The reason uh, multiple, one, because they're expensive to acquire, two, they require higher levels of training, you know, to perform, and three, you need more health literacy within the population for people to be able to demand and require those services. So what we did was begin to aggregate the human capital needed to make those services routinely available. Uh, once we aggregated enough human capital, we aggregated financial uh, support, you know, to be able to provide these equipment. And then we trained uh, people locally to provide support. We were the first to begin the concept of cardiovascular technology as a professional class, you know, for young people in Jamaica. And we have trained um, a lot of young people in cardiovascular technology to be able to do diagnostic tests like echocardiograms, nuclear medicine, and so on to support cardiologists in their work. Um, having done this, many of these people we've trained have been able to leave the heart and of the Caribbean to go work for other cardiologists across the island. And that has opened up the opportunities for people in different parts of the island to get uh, clinical care of that level. We've also used telemedicine as a resource. Uh, we've partnered with companies around the globe to create the infrastructure that will make it possible for us to do studies and have those studies seen and reviewed in multiple locations without a patient leaving the premises. Uh, we have partnerships across the world where people, even though the patients do not know that, while a patient is being seen at HIC, you have international experts that might be able to log into the system and look at their diagnostic studies. So in the process, we put interventional cardiology. We were the first to put a freestanding interventional cardiology program in Jamaica where individuals can now come in without having to 
went through complicated processes to get interventional cardiology work done. Uh, we introduced various modalities in echocardiography with myocardial contrast echo. I believe we're probably still the only ones in Jamaica do myocardial contrast echo, which is an advanced technique that helps look at the muscles of the heart, the myocardium, which we call this the, the heart muscle uh, to define what is going on. Uh, we're doing um, stress echocardiograms routinely. Uh, when we arrived in Jamaica, it was not a routine service. Now there are several other places who are, that are doing it. Uh, but we're doing a whole lot of uh, you know, complex uh, treatment modalities that were routinely not available in the region. Thank you for listening to another episode of Impacting Jamaica. If you or anyone you know is involved with projects and activities that excite, motivate, and encourage, send us an email to impactingjamaica at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. Do join us again for another in the series on Google Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, Podcast Addict, and Stitcher. You can also visit us at impactingjamaica.com.